Hey, what's up? I'm not gonna do my intro because, I mean, I clearly don't have the energy to put forth that much effort and do that. Um, I've said before about this channel that I like wanted to get really like real and raw and like talk about like important things and um normally i would like get on here and be like sorry about my appearance but i think it's clear that i may have had an emotional spell if you catch my drift um sorry i got a text uh I don't know what compelled me to like go grab my camera and start filming and I don't even know like what this video is gonna be about I think that I just like I want to talk about mental health for a second and I want to talk about like perception and things so you really like never have any idea of like what's going on with somebody um by just like looking at them or maybe even talking to them sometimes like and i don't think that like enough people really it's so weird because like i wanted to say not enough people like talk about like dep like depression not that saying that i have depression but i i have anxiety like anxiety enough and like i think that people like make it a big joke for like oh i'm just you know i just have anxiety and stuff like that but like I feel like I feel like there's a difference between like just talking about it and and then like actually maybe being vulnerable and really showing like the effects of anxiety and really talking about it like personally. I never really planned or intended on making a video like this and I never really thought that I would because it's uncomfortable. <laughs> like I don't want to come on here looking like a hot ass mess and like emotional but I also kind of feel like if I'm going to put myself on these public forums I want to be as real and as transparent as I can and I think that if there's somebody out there that like has anxiety and thinks that like it's just them or thinks that like they're the only person that feels that way and I don't know is like stressed then maybe I don't know maybe this will like be helpful anxiety is wild because you never know what's going to trigger it and you never know like how you're going to react and you never know like if you're gonna be fine or if you're gonna have like an anxiety attack or like what's gonna happen it's wild but you're not crazy you just are anxious and you just have anxiety and it's so like normalized now in our society because like I feel like honestly everybody has it and honestly i make jokes about it all the time i'm always like oh i can't have caffeine because you know i'm millennial so i have anxiety which is true i can't have like i can't have caffeine um sorry my friend my friend is texting me trying to convince me to move back to los angeles <laughs> um i don't even know what i was talking about because i'm just so like out of my mind i just want to like I don't want anybody to feel like they're the only person that feels a certain way or they're the only person that like thinks th certain things or I don't know. I feel like anxiety can make you feel like you're a crazy person and you're not. You're just anxious. You know what I'm saying? And like I think it's important to normalize these feelings and normalize these reactions because the more 
we mask them and the more that we just like roll over everything the more alone people are gonna feel and the more people are gonna be like well they say they have anxiety but they look fine and they're sitting down and talking about anxiety in a full face of makeup and like you know they blah 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 and it's like that's not what anxiety looks like like this is what anxiety looks like <laughs> like it's not pretty it's not glamorous it's not rehearsed or scripted or put together and it's it honestly doesn't even make a lot of sense which is kind of how this video is not making a lot of sense <laughs> i just i don't know i just felt compelled to like make this video and just come on here and be like this is what's going on like this is real life like this is this is real life you know this is anxiety this is i don't know i don't know what word i was trying to think of <laughs> like i don't even know what i'm saying half the time right now and anxiety will do that to you let me mother i can tell you okay and I think that I think that our society has this weird obsession with like theatralite theat I don't know the word. I don't want to say glamorizing mental health, you know, like glamorizing anxiety and like depression and stuff, but like everything like, even those, like, the antidepressant commercials are so over the top and theatrical, and I'm just like, it's not what depression looks like, probably. I wouldn't know. I don't, I don't have clinical depression, you know. I don't have bipolar disorder. I do have anxiety. I've been prescribed medication. I don't take it because that's my own personal journey. I don't believe in taking medication for me. I don't think that I need it. I think that I, I know that people need medication, but I don't feel like I need it to function. So I don't take it. And I just felt like it's important to come on here and just be like, this is raw, this is real, this is real life. This is what anxiety looks like. This is like the trenches in real life. And it's easy to like see somebody every day or look at their Instagram and think, wow, they have like this perfect life and they're happy and blah, blah, blah. And like, I am a happy person for real. But that doesn't mean that, like, they're not struggling with mental health or anxiety or whatever. You never know what's going on, okay? Nothing even really happened today to, like, set off my anxiety. It just, for some reason, it was really bad today. And I was just like, Jordan, you need to grab your camera and you need to film and you need to talk about it because this is important. This is, this is... An important thing for people to know and this is an important thing to share with people to show them that anxiety isn't glamorous and anxiety isn't something that like we just sit down and have a story about it in full makeup you know and like occasionally cry with no tears coming out and like I just want to normalize real life and normalize like the realness i don't know people might be rolling their eyes at this video but i felt like it was important to share and it's different than anything i've done and it's different than anything i'm going to do but i felt compelled so here it is this is what anxiety actually looks like if you're struggling with anxiety or depression or mental health and wellness in general Feel free to leave a comment um, and let me know about your mental health journey. Um, also, like, reach out to somebody, you know, a parent, a friend, you know, a pe like anybody. Um, luckily for me, I have a really strong core group of friends. Um, but honestly, even then, sometimes you can feel alone, which is wild. You can be surrounded by people and still feel super alone because i know that i struggle with like feeling like a burden i never want to be a burden on people and i always have my entire life felt like i can't be emotional because i have to be strong for everybody else 
And so, and when I need people, like I can't ask for help. So I think that for me, it's important to show like my vulnerability, which is like a huge breakthrough because my therapist is like, you don't like being vulnerable, which is damn true. Like fucking hate it. So this is uncomfortable for me. Even if I, if I even post it, if I post this, that is like wild and my therapist will probably like flip out. But <laughs> as I was saying, if you're struggling with mental health or anxiety or having any struggles like that, feel free to leave me a comment. Sometimes it is easier to reach out to a stranger and just like talk about what you're going through. But I just wanted to show that anxiety isn't glamorous and sometimes mental health isn't glamorous and sometimes even the people that you don't think struggle, struggle and you're not alone ever. No matter what you're going through, no matter what, how like specific you think your situation is or anything, I guarantee you there's somebody out there that's going through it too that understands and you are never by yourself. So I don't know, I just felt like I needed to make this video and I need to come on here and spread this message. So there you go. <laughs> um, and I so my camera cut off and I have no idea where it cut off, which I feel like is kind of rude because I was having like a moment. Um, <laughs> but I'm so, what I was saying, I was basically in the video and just saying, I'm gonna, in this, I'm going to read my book. I'm gonna cuddle with my dogs. I'm probably gonna eat some carbs, even though it's like almost 10 o'clock at night. I don't care. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and I am going to deal with my anxiety the way I deal with it. So, like I said, something in me felt compelled to make this video and just urge you guys, if you guys struggle with anxiety or anything else with mental health, just to know that you are not alone, to know that you are loved and supported and you're not crazy, you just might have anxiety, <laughs> which makes you feel fucking not sometimes, but you know, we all, we all have our things, so. Life's not always glamorous, you know? So, I'm not gonna do the whole like and subscribe thing because this isn't that kind of video. Uh, so, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>